Hey everybody, it's Liz. Today I want to share with you a project that I altered for Saw Crafters. I will be uh, guest designing for her shop for the month of July, and uh, this is my first project this month. If you are not familiar with Saw Crafters' shop, you definitely want to go take a look. She sells such amazing, amazing um, alterable projects, um, or not projects, but products, I should say, made out of MDF wood, chipboard. Um, she also carries tons of stencils and other supplies in her shop at really, really, you know, really good prices. I also have a discount code for you. It is Liz Fans, and I will put the discount code down below. And this code will get you 10% um, off your purchase of $30 or more from her shop. And I will put the link to her shop down below as well, so you definitely want to go check it out, okay? So today's project, I want to share with you really quick what I used to alter my project. And, um, I altered um, a tray, and I'll share that in just a second. She's got several uh, trays available in her shop. I altered the largest one. But this is the paper pad that I used to alter that tray. Um, and this is the Tilda paper, and this one is called Tiny Treasures, and it is so cute. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with it, so I'm not going to do a flip through. But it's such a beautiful, beautiful paper pad. I love the colors and all the images. And I purchased this from um, Art Attack, Tracy's shop. Thank you, Tracy. Um, amazing delivery and um, really, really nice paper. Love it. And I also used this paint here. And this is by Americana. It's called Bleach Sand. And I used this to paint uh, the tray before um, you know, I adhered the papers on there. Just on the areas where I knew I wasn't going to cover with paper. Okay, I also used this really, really pretty trim. And this trim I picked up at Hobby Lobby, and look how pretty it is. It's got a nice uh, density to it. It's not like, you know, really thin or anything, but it was uh, $3.99. I picked it up at Hobby Lobby. Of course, when it's 50% off, it's a much better deal. So, use that. These are some of the things that I used, and uh, let me share with you what I made real quick. And it's a little incomplete because I'm going to share a quick tutorial on this project. But here it is. Isn't it cute? It, um, this is the tray from Saw Crafter Shop and this is the larger one. So it's going to be, it's 9 inches by 6 inches wide and uh, 1 inch um, uh, depth. And it turned out really, really pretty. And uh, like I shared with you, you know what, I'm going to take out these little cu uh, cups. I'll show that in just a second. What I wanted to create was like a little embellishment station that you can, uh, you know, have on your desk or craft table. Okay, but this is the tray here, and just look how cute it is. It's such a good size. And this tray can be used for many things. You can use this as a shadow box as well. And I just love this particular paper here. I love all these little images. So that's what I used in the uh, inside of my tray. Super pretty. I mean, you can easily add like a picture, you know, and uh, make like a little layout, shadow box layout inside. I think that'd be a really cute idea. I've done that before. But uh, here's the tray, and it's covered with the pretty Tilda papers all around. Look how beautiful. Love these papers. And uh, the tray is so cute, too. I love the little handles in particular. Okay? So I covered everything with paper. As you can see, well, once I painted it, I went ahead and sanded all of the edges with the sanding block. I wanted to give it that, you know, distressed look. That's why it looks white. This isn't paint. This is just some of the... Uh, uh, you know, the sanding, the paper, the white revealed when you sand on the edges. Okay, and then this is where I used that pretty trim, and I used it all around the tray. On top of that trim, I used some halfback pearls, or not halfback pearls, but yeah, I guess they're halfback pearl trim that I had picked up. Um, I think, I don't remember, you know what, actually I think Saw carries, or used to carry this uh, flatback trim. So that's what I used on top of the... Um, that Hobby Lobby trim. And then I created two clusters, one on each end of the little tray. And what I used here were some of the die cuts that are in the paper pad. Um, they're really cute and fun to play with. So I just punched them out or, you know, tear them out and adhered them to my little cluster here. Then I've got a couple of flowers for my stash in pink and blue. And I lightly dabbed them with some white acrylic paint on the tops. And then I also have these little uh, sprigs or berries. I'm not sure what they are called, but I had picked these up. I think they're I Am Roses, and I just have them tucked into my little flower cluster. So it's a very simple flower cluster. I didn't want to do a whole lot. These papers are just beautiful. I didn't want to cover them up, but I did want to add a, you know, just a little detail on each end, but look how pretty, right? So I think it turned out really, really sweet. And like I said, this is basically uh, the, um, the project here, I was inspired by Bona, who is Live Love Scrap on YouTube. You guys are all familiar with her. I am sure of it. And I was inspired to make these really, really cute little uh, 3D teacups. 
using her the Tim Holtz um, Tea Time die, and she also used a Sizzix die. It's called uh, Make It 3D or something like that. I can't remember the designer, but it's by Sizzix. And I don't have that particular die, so I had to improvise because I didn't want to shell out $40 to pay for it online. But what I did is I made these little 3D teacups, like I said, inspired by Bona, and I think they turned out super cute. And what I did is, you know, the little tray is going to be like an embellishment tray, so the little teacups are going to be, you know, inside, and they can hold, you know, little embellishments. And these are going to be like on my desk. For instance, if I'm working on a particular project, I can add like the little embellishments that I'm thinking of using into these little teacups and then just have it on my desk or you know my um, in this case I don't have a desk you guys I honestly work on the floor <laughs> I know but I can have this little tray right next to me and it'll have like the little embellishments that I'm you know hoping to use on my project and I think that's cute and you know you could switch it out of course you can also use this as party decor for like a little tea party party theme I think that'd be such a cute idea and you can use the little teacups as favors I think that would be so, so cute. But these trays from Slap Crafters are very inexpensive and I think they're just adorable. Once you add the papers and you make the little teacups, I think it's such a cute idea. I hope you like it as well. But um, anyways, I'm gonna share with you a really, really super quick mini tutorial on how I made these 3D cups. Like I said, I was inspired by Bona. These are the little 3D cups here. Look how cute they are, right? Super cute. And um, like I said, she used dyes to create hers. Um, the 3D part um, was a Sizzix die. I did not have that die. So I kind of worked something out to make my own. And I'm going to share that in just a second. But I just wanted to share the little teacups. I think they're super cute. For the teacups, again, I just used the Tilda paper and I used the Tim Holtz Tea Time die. I die cut that out. And then I adhered the teacup to the saucer. And then on top of that, I added one of the little die cuts that comes in that paper pad. And it's popped up on some foam tape to give dimension. Oops, some of the flowers fell out. And then here I just have a cute little tag that's also part of the Tea Time die. Super cute. I have this really sweet little stamp and it says drink me and I stamped that onto the little tag on both sides. So I have um, the little tag on both sides and then I added a little piece of DMC floss to the middle and then I just did here the tag together and then so it kind of just hangs there. So it's super cute and I filled each of the little teacups with just these little fabric flowers that I had in my stash. For now I think you know they look pretty inside but like I said once I start working on a project I'll add like different types of embellishments in there that I'll be you know thinking of using on my project. So all the teacups are the same okay I use the same paper the same little flowers I wanted them to be you know uh, like a set. So I think they're super cute and now I'm going to share with you really quick how I put these together without the 3D die okay. So I'm going to put this to the side and I will share that in just a second. Alright so now what you're going to need to make your little 3D cups of course you're going to need Timmy's um, Tea Time die. Super cute. I love this. I could not wait for this to come out in my store and I picked mine up at Hobby Lobby I think or Joanne's. I can't remember. They both carry it. But it comes with the two little teacups, the little saucer, and then the little tag. Super cute. So I used that. You're also going to need some scissors, okay, some cardstock, and I always cut mine down to size, but you know, I'll share that, how I cut that, or the dimensions in just a second. You're going to need a scoreboard, and you're going to need some glue. I use my favorite, Aileen, okay. Alright, so what you're going to do to make a 3D, first off, just, you know, die cut your, your saucers and your teacups, okay? I've already done mine, because I'm going to make a fourth for my tray, okay? So I've already done that, I adhered it to the saucer, okay? So I've got two, alright, okay? And then, you know, they're going to go like this, they're going to make a little 3D box, okay? So die cut the pieces first. Okay, and then what you want to do to make the 3D part, all you need is a strip of cardstock or, you know, in my case I use the same designer paper. And you need a strip that's going to be four and a half inches long by one and a half inches wide. Okay, that's what you're going to need. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and score it. Let me get this out of the way. This is going to be a weird angle, but I will do my best to share with you, and I'm sure you guys could figure this out on your own, but you know, sometimes there's beginners. Um, I get a lot of comments from beginners and stuff, so I just wanted to share, you know, so 
So some people that are just starting, I think it'd be, you know, a cute idea. Or in case you don't want to waste your time trying to figure dimensions, you know, thought I'd help you out with that. But anyways, uh, let me see how I could do this so you can see the score that I'm doing. Okay, basically, what you want to do is you're going to take your strip, okay? So it's four and a half by one and a half, and you're going to score. I'm just going to turn it around this way. But you're going to score at the one quarter mark. And I, like I said, this is a really bad angle, you guys, because of the way that I have this set up. But it's the, the quarter inch mark on top. Okay, and you're going to score down the long way. Oopsie, sorry. I think I have to hold it from up here. See, it's a really weird angle for me, so I do apologize. I do my best when I do tutorials. You know, once I have a different setup, I might be able to work out better. But just score down, I do it a couple times, the quarter inch mark. I'm going to flip the paper around, and then again, you're going to score on the quarter inch mark, okay? See, i got to hold it from up here. I was right in front of it. I'm at an angle. That's why it's awkward. All right, quarter inch. Okay, so now you're going to have the two lines, okay? And now what you want to do is you want to flip it this way, and you're going to score it at every half inch mark, okay? So see how you have a scoreboard? Every half inch mark is going to get scored down, okay? So go ahead and just do that now. And I do it a couple times. But this was really, really easy to figure out, you know, and I figured, I didn't, I mean, like I said, I looked online for that die that Bona used, but it was $40 everywhere online. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to pay $40 plus shipping because I can only find it online. I, no one carried it. And uh, I was like, you know what, I'm going to figure this out on my own and uh, find a way to make them little 3D cups because I think they're just so cute. Okay, so then you score, like I said, you score down at every half, half inch score line. Okay, hope you can see that. Okay, and now what you're going to do is you're going to cut these little flaps here. Okay, but you're just going to cut on the line, okay, up until um, the score line. Okay, and you're going to do that on each one, on both sides. All right, so just score up until the score line. Sorry, I wasn't in frame. There you go. And, okay, so you're going to do that to both sides, okay? Make sure you do that. And then what you want to do is you're going to cut, once you cut both sides, you're going to cut these little notches on each end. Basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to cut at an angle, okay, from here up to the score line, okay? So see how I did that? Let's just cut at an angle. And you're going to do that to each one. It's like a little, it's like a little notch. Okay, so see, that's what you're going to do. To each one on both sides. Okay, and you're just going to keep doing that. Okay, so for the sake of the video, I've already made mine. But I just want to share that, you know, the measurements and where to cut really quick for you, okay? So this is my piece. When you're done, this is what it should look like. It's going to have the little notched pieces, and it's going to be scored and everything, okay? So now what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and start um, folding. or not folding, but, you know, bending at the score line, okay? That's what you're going to do. And you're going to do that with these little flaps here, okay? This is what you're going to adhere to the little teacups to make them 3D. Okay, and you just want to fold each of them. And like I said, you guys can probably figure this out on your own. But, you know, whenever I find a little tip or a little tidbit, I like to share. Why not? I know when I first got started, I didn't know anything. But, okay, so that's what it's going to look like. And see, it's going to curve like this and make your little 3D cup. Okay, so now what you want to do is you just want to take your little die cut piece. Now this is obviously the outside part because the little teacup part is, you know, down here on the saucer. So you want to make sure that you're going to glue the inside part. Okay, so there's some crease lines on here. Hope you can see that. This is the crease line. This is the top of it. That's where I'm going to start gluing 
and it's going to come around like that. All right, so here is where the glue comes in. So you want to grab your glue, tacky glue, whatever you have. All right, and you want to add your glue to these little notches. Sorry if it's not focusing. I think it's because I'm moving. But you guys get it. All right. So I've added my glue to all the little notches. And again, sorry about the it not focusing. Okay. So then what you want to do, see how you have that little line? Go ahead and put the flap down on that edge. Okay. And then you want to put it down, of course, so that you can curve this and um, put it on the other edge as well. So from one end to the other. All right, and then I usually just flip it around and sort of use my finger to push these down, these little flaps down. Super easy, really, really easy. And make sure that it's not, you know, coming out on the sides. Okay, so see I've got mine. And um, because this glue takes, you know, just a few minutes to really adhere on there, I, I just go ahead and continue pushing down on the flaps to make sure they've really got a hold. Oopsie, this part wants to come off. Okay, so then once I've done that, then you can adhere the top part, and it's basically the same thing. You just want to add glue to these little flaps here. Like I said, it's really, really easy. And you don't need to buy that $40 die. I mean, I'm sure it'll come in handy because I think there's like different sizes and different shapes that you can do to create your projects in 3D. But for my purpose, I just needed, the, needed it to make the little 3D, you know, cups. And I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on that. Okay, so this part, I just turn it around this way. And then I do the same thing. Just make sure you line it up with that little line on the teacup. Okay, there you go. And then just check it on the sides, make sure that it's not coming out. I'm a perfectionist, so I tend to take my time with these things, you know, and just try to do the best I can to make sure it's perfect. <laughs> so, and that's it. So, I mean, you can, again, you know, push down on the glue, make sure, that, see, like, this part, that would bug me. So, but that's it. I just wanted to share with you really quick how I put that together. Now, if you want to make your teacups wider, you can increase the width of this strip. So instead of uh, one and a half, you can go up to two, two and a half, whatever you like. But for the length, it'll remain the same at four and a half. So super cute. And then right here, you can add like little shredded paper, your candy, your embellishments, whatever you want. Decorate the outside. Super cute. So now you've got a really cute 3D teacup without that expensive die. Okay, so that's it. I hope you like my project. Don't forget to check out Saw Crafter Shop for her amazing, amazing um, off-the-page prod products. And don't forget to use your discount code if you make a purchase at 10% off your purchase of $30 or more. The discount code is down below. Saw Crafter's um, Shop link is down below as well. And here's my project one more time so you guys can see. And here's my fourth teacup. I'm just going to add, you know, the little flower to it. And I've got a cute little set of embellishment tray for my floor. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you all real soon. Have a great day.